my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Lift your voice and sing and say, How great Thou art. And sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. Said, How great Thou art! How great Thou art! How great! How edition of command your morning we believe and it's been a blessing to you so far we believe that it has been transformative we believe that it's pushed your prayer level from one realm to the next we are super excited that you've given us the privilege and the opportunity to get into your private spaces with you to fellowship with you even from the comfort of your bedrooms your living rooms we don't take it for granted at all we we'll just encourage you that just as it is blessing you give other people the opportunity to be blessed as well share the video with as many people as possible share it until the devil gets mad share it until god gets happy share it until somebody who really needs a word desperately from the lord will stumble upon this broadcast let it be liberating to as many people as possible let us be echoed from the rooftops that when we joined command your morning our lives have been transformed i know and those of you who have been sharing you can testify and the people that you shared the videos with they come back to you and they say thank you they are not just thanking you they are thanking the god who gave you the wisdom and the grace and the ability to be able to share so share the video share it with as many people as possible today i'm going to deal with not just altars and the patterns or the patterns and the altars that fuel the patterns of bloodlines lineages i'm not going to also deal only with direct and indirect um what it i mean direct associations indirect associations and the relative direct indirect patterns that they bring i'm also going to deal with invocations and evocations and we are going to pray and um, we're going to walk you through scripture help you to understand there are people who um, get in themselves into things just because the star of a king has emerged you will not have to cast your mind very far until you realize what happened when jesus was born you have, don't have to also cast your mind very far until you realize the what was surrounding the birth of moses and what um, god did with him so there are people who look through things and check certain things and um, make their deployments and this morning our prayer is going to focus on all of that so i wanted to share tell people to come online call them whatsapp them wake them up you might be the alarm clock for somebody who is um, sleeping himself or herself away but help the person grab the person 
by the shoulder or by the color of their sets and, and and just pull them up and tell them neighbor it is time to pray but whilst you are at it i want you to be thankful to god the god of our many journeys the god of our salvation the god of greater grace the god who has been our help in ages past i hope for years to come um, for some of us who were um, um who know where we are coming from we can look around us thank him and just say that oh lord our help in ages past i don't know how many times god has helped you how many times he has saved you how many times he has rescued you how many times he has snatched you from the clutches of darkness and from the grips of hell when satan has had, had thrusted his talents into your life god said not him the lord said not her the lord said that is my own girl that's my girl don't touch it so when you hear in the bible the lord saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm it is just the lord giving warning to the adversary that that is my own touch her not that's my own touch him not and we want you to lift up your voice and begin to praise and thank god just magnify the name of the lord for his manifold blessings and for his compassions towards you i just want you to be thankful just be thankful be thankful to god lift him up magnify his holy name Bless his holy name. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he is good. Oh, and his mercies shall endure. Because he is good. And his mercies shall endure. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We as your children, we come before your throne. We worship in the name of Jesus. Whilst your hands and hearts, souls and minds are lifted and focused on him, you want to worship him. Lift your voice with me. And let's worship. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, as we lift our hands before. Of our love, holy, 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 lift up all the music, holy, 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 holy.
sin again. Holy, 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 say, holy. Oh 
Son of God, Jesus, Son of God, the darling of heaven, the darling of heaven, crucified. Worthy is the
the Lord your God in the beauty of his holiness magnify the name of the Lord our God he is worthy to be praised and adored we will lift up holy hands with one accord and and sing blessed be the name hallelujah we are super excited we are thankful sometimes sometimes when praise becomes difficult and Thanksgiving become hard to do sometimes when it becomes difficult to worship just flash your mind back and around you just cast your eyes round about count your blessings name them one by one i believe with that you'll be able to tell what the lord has done for great is his faithfulness i know there are many 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 obituaries that were written waiting for you to be in attendance and you didn't show up because the lord decided to spare your life and show you mercy I believe that there are many plans and conspiracies from the comes of hell and through them all God preserves our souls why because he has a covenant to keep us alive until we have fulfilled destiny until we have gotten to a place where he had assigned us to do that to, to get to or to do the things he had assigned us to do there is nothing the devil can do that will be able to stop us I am super glad that God has kept you and by his infinite mercies we still have you alive and intact glory to God in the highest glory be to God who did not allow you to be made a prey to their teeth hallelujah their snares are broken and we are free indeed we want to thank God the one who breaks the snares of the fowler we want to thank God the valley lifter we want to thank God the mountain leveler we want to thank God the covenant keeper we want to thank God our healer our king our promise keeper, our way maker, our head lifter. There is none holy as our God. There is none. There is none. There is none. There is none. There is none like our king. There is none like our way maker. There is none like our head lifter. They say of me. There is no help for him in his God. Hey, hey! I have a story to say. I have, I have, I have a testimony to give you, but I'm just waiting for it to be in the right time. They said of me that there is no help. That you are to know him. He is done. He is finished. Finito. Capish. Finito. Everything is gone. They say of me, there is no help for him and his God. But thou, oh God, you are a shield and a help for me. You are the lifter. But thou, oh Lord, you are the help for me. You are the shield of my shield and the lifter of my head. That's how the Bible puts it. The Lord is the lifter. I don't know, but I am talking to somebody who is as grateful as myself. Who know the many things, plans, and activities from the comes of hell. Deployed against you, and yet he was your head lifter. I'm speaking to a child of God who remains thankful and grateful to God. For how far God has brought him or brought her. I am super glad. I'm excited. In fact, I'm honeymoon happy right now. That God has caused me to see another day. I don't know about you. But I wish you do say. He is good. Because he is good. And his mercies shall endure. Praise the name of the Lord. 
I I look around and I'm excited but can you share the video can you tell somebody that it's time to command your morning can you tell another person the neighbor it is time to pray I, I want you there are people that it's not that you don't want to pray but they have slumbered their ways out of aggressive prayer and they are sleeping right now but you want to get on the levels of prayer and you want to help another person to be blessed today we are dealing with enchantments we are dealing with invocations from the camps of hell we are dealing with evocations as well in the book of genesis chapter number 26 the same anchor scripture share the video share the video please share it in the book of genesis chapter number 26 you'll read and the bible talks about the headsman of um isaac digging wells um from the verse number 17 and isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of gera and dwelt there isaac dug again the wells of water which he had dug in the days of abraham his father for the philistines had stopped them after the death of abraham and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them and isaac servants dug in the valley and found there a well of springing water and the headmen of gera or gera they strive with isaac's headman saying the water is ours and he called the name of the well isaac now the word isaac means contention so most of us our lives we are moving from one realm of contention to another check your scripture he called the name of the well isaac because they strove with him and they dug another well and strove for that also and he called the name of it sitna so the first one is isaac which means contention the second one is sitna which means strife and the devil sometimes will not just strive with us he will contend over every blessing that we have now what this scripture just tells you is that there can be patterns that whatever you build they can take from you whatever you touch they can take from you. and please have this understanding it is not everything that is taken from you that God allowed it uh, let me shake your theology a little bit it is not everything now he dug wells they took it from him not because God said unto him Isaac sleep I wanted I want them to take it anytime you are doing something and it's taken from you it is not that God is saying that oh I am happy let me see how they can it's not every time that it is like that sometimes God can make a boast of you before the devil like that so that the devil can attack so God can say, have you considered my servant? Have you considered my daughter? Have you considered my son? But those are um, rare cases. Because even you, without God giving them the permission to test you, you're already failing. So why would God put you in a place where... So, so that's, that's not it. What I mean is that there are some things that God had placed on your life that the devil will try to take it from you and most of us we take we do what we build the devil takes it from us we build another one he takes it from us we build another one we, he takes it from us so we move from contentions to strives to confrontations and our lives have become a bundle of problems and every time we do that now watch it every time we build they take from us you have been building and it's been taken from you you have moved forward and they push you backwards there are people i just get surprised there are people who send me messages man of god and what they say sometimes surprise me somebody sent me said please don't share it publicly listen i don't need to share your story with the world for anything i won't do that the people that you hear me share their story are people that have given me the permission to talk about it. 
or even if they, i'm talking about even if i have their permission i will still make them anonymous i don't need to pinpoint the person i don't have to do that i don't yesterday we had a very powerful testimony coming through a lady who is also watching right now because she said she now wakes up exactly at 4 30 um, and she's ready to pray with us now interestingly the lady has a sickle cell is that she's 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 a sickle cell uh, and uh, her status had given her problems over the years sometimes she wakes up and she's all swollen if you read if you i know you you guys read the test but if you read the test she said that she takes um what is that drug tramadol she takes tramadol as if she's taking paracetamol no as if she's taking toffees that, those were her words she said but when i join command your morning till date even paracetamol i don't take the lord has brought it now, now do you know why i'm sharing this testimony because i was praying and i found out that the attack she was having was not as a result of her sickle status there was an enemy pitching a tent to take and drain everything from her destroy her because of that now that's why i came here to pray with you the devil takes from us and most of the time they take him from us i told you yesterday some of them as a result of indirect associations so if 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 you are connected to somebody who has an altar fighting against or has an incantation fighting against by your association you are saying that i am a co-libra a fellow yoke bearer so people married men or married women who were under certain spells and they joined them to carry the spell if if for instance there is a young lady who sent me a message and said Papa, please pray for me i'm going to do that that's that's why i believe i was called to do this so we are going to pray with you now watch this she said no, men don't come and marry them herself and her sisters no. if a man introduces himself the man will disappear the man will just go without any explanation the man will go and she had noticed that in that family is only them the ladies who are doing well their brothers and their cousins the male children they are not doing well at all everybody is struggling now such a person until it is broken from her life even if you carry a blessing over your life or you are doing well hard work you are smart you are doing well and you marry into that family because of that altar that says that no male is supposed to survive in this atmosphere you will wither and it's only the lady who will do well so men will come around them and the men won't survive the men won't do well the men can't survive and that ha happens to be the thing now read the book of ezekiel chapter 21 the verse number 21 let me get you through incantations and what the devil does i'm talking about incantations i'm talking about invocations there are people who on their blind side somebody can make a statement we will we will see we will be here we will all see if that ministry will do well over my dead body will this ministry do well over my dead body will this man survive over my dead body will this business survive oh there are people who sit and they make incantations the world is not as easy and simple as you see it it's not a simple world the ashantis have a problem that if there was nothing in the world you wouldn't have closed or locked your doors there are things that operate in this realm ezekiel 21 21 let me read it to your hearing for the king of babylon stood at the parting of the way if you had lived anywhere it was communal you will realize how people will put things like eggs and masa and kose and, and coins and all of that at four junctions the parting of the way what is the person doing in an incantation and the king of the the king of babylon stood at the parting of the way at the head of the two ways to use divination he made his arrows bright he consulted with images he looked in the liver now look at this there are people who look through mirrors crystal balls palms whatever and they can make incantations against the lord's elect 
So there are people who are fighting battles not because they even had exchanges. Somebody is sitting looking through a liver, consulting with images and making pronouncements. So when we talk about patterns and altars, some of them are remotely caused. It's just like somebody will not touch the TV, but can sit with a remote control and flip through channels. Somebody is sitting somewhere, looking at your life and flipping through channels of your life. And there are so many manipulations like that. So why do you think people in that family, at a particular age, they have to just die? I was talking to a young lady two days ago. She said for her, her family's own is even strange. Amongst her cousins and everybody, the one that they know will do well. The person will not die. The person will just disappear. The person will travel, leave. He will not bid anybody farewell. By the time he realizes he's packed things, he has moved out, and they will never see the, the person again. And I was telling the person, you don't understand the spiritual dynamics. That person has been banished. He has been banished, ostracized. There are manipulations. There are, there are things that are happening. So they touch things and they fail. They move. Hard working men. None of them can do well. And sometimes it's as a result of an invocation. Somebody had made an utterance. Somebody without your knowledge has made a withdrawal from your account. Without your knowledge. The person has assessed your bank account with your ATM without your knowledge. I mean, whatever work you are doing. So why is it that some people, they will, they will be told, oh, no, um, it's like your pockets are torn. So whatever you put in is gone. They tell people it's like you are fetching water with a basket. And so you can't hold. It's because there are things that have been done. There are things that have been done from of old. But lift up your right hand with me. It's time for us to pray. I, this morning we just want to pray. I, I don't want to just get into um, the test necessary. I want us to pray. That any invocation. Ah, any pattern. Jesus. If you are even blind. Check around your life. Just check. I'm just giving you 30 seconds. Check around your life. And you notice certain trends and patterns. So why is it that only you, when you gather money to do something, as soon as you are almost there at the target that you had set for yourself, something will happen that you have to use all that money to solve that problem. Why? Why? Every time you are either... And, and, and the devil knows how good your heart is. So there will be a problem and they will run to you and you won't say that, no, let me keep my money. You use the money and you stay. So your life is like one step forward, three steps backwards. Even three is being generous. One step forward, then you come back like ten times. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Oh, come and pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Any pattern. Any pattern. As a result. As a result. Of an invocation. Of an invocation. Say, any pattern. Any pattern. As a result. As a result. Of an invocation. Of an invocation. Any satanic. Any satanic. Pattern. Pattern. Going on. Going on. In my life. In my life. And any altar. And any altar. That has been fooling. That has been fooling. That pattern. That as I lift up my as voice, I lift up my voice, voice and as I begin to pray, as I begin to Holy, pray. Spirit of Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, let that pattern, let that pattern, and that altar, and that altar, fueling that pattern, fueling that pattern, catch fire, catch fire. I bring them, I bring them under, under the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost. Any pattern, any pattern, and any altar, and any altar, fueling the pattern, fueling the pattern against my ministry, against my ministry. Yeah, some of you, God has given you ministries you are building the ministry up and anytime the ministry is about shooting up something happens you are moving from one scandal to another one problem to another one gossip to another you are moving and it is affecting every it is a satanic pattern that the devil has brought against you but you will want to rise you will want to go to god you will want to say god i am ready 
Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Any altar. Any altar. Fueling a satanic party. Fueling a satanic party. Over my ministry. Over my ministry. Over my finances. Over my finances. Over my business. Over my business. Over my family. Over my family. Any pattern. Any pattern. And any altar. And any altar. Fueling that pattern. Fueling that pattern. As I lift up my voice. As I lift up my voice. And as I begin to pray. And as I begin to pray. Let that pattern. Let that pattern. Catch fire. Catch fire. Let that altar. Let that altar. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. of the Holy Ghost in this place I'm telling you listen there are invocations there are those who stand at the parting of the ways make invocations and bring things against God's people the Bible says they look through the liver they consult with images whoever is consulting images Jesus 
may they catch fire right yes now. lord whoever is consulting images Jesus. i think the last prayer i need people to keep on sharing the video share the video because there is somebody who needs to just be alerted be given the alert to join because this prayer is for somebody watching us right now yes, thank you yes, holy ghost yes, yes, and if for somebody who is going to watch us yes, yes, yes. just invite them ask them to come online come come on board and let us pray whoever is making an incantation you know the funny thing about incantation is that it can only it can also take effect even on your blind side they don't need you to have heard it so somebody can quietly make a pronouncement that will follow you and most of the time it is provoked not just as pure act of evil it can also be a pure act of envy somebody can look at you and say that we will see if even the children will do well i curse every child that will come up there are invocations there are things that people have said or mentioned ezekiel 21 21 says they stand on the parting of the ways the king of babylon that is a typology of what happens in our time and they consult images they look through the liver some will look through crystal balls some of them will hear what god wants to do with your life and they will make invocations and incantations that is normally powered by the altars they serve so when they say it the reason why it works the reason why somebody will kill some another person and just um, um use snaps and eggs and all of that to do that and you see it working is because when the person made the statement the person handed over the statement to the altar that he or she believes in and the altar is the one fighting families are going through hell because there are certain families that they used wealth to get human beings into the family and there are certain families that they use human beings for wealth and so they sacrifice children on the altars of wealth so people are wealthy people don't there are a lot of people in their family but nobody can get wealthy there are other families too people can have um, um, money but there, there are no children there are a lot of spaces and places like that you want to go to god you want to go to god you want to go to god if somebody had made an incantation declaration divination jesus. whatever they have done jesus, jesus. against your life jesus. say lord jesus, lord jesus. Any, incantation any incantation or divination, or divination against, my life, against my life whoever, whoever has, consulted has consulted images, images looked through looked through Mirrors, mirrors the liver the liver consulted consulted with spirit beings with spirit beings over my life over my life spirit of the living god spirit of the living god let their plans let their plans catch fire catch fire let their patterns catch, catch fire catch fire let the altars let the altars that are fooling that are fooling their plans their plans catch fire also catch fire. As I lift up my voice and as I begin to pray, begin to pray arise, O oh God, arise, oh God, and let every enemy, let every enemy be, scattered right be scattered right now. Arise, O oh God, arise, oh and let every, let every enemy be scattered right be now. Scattered right now. In, the In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice with me. Lift your voice and pray. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Libra, do shadabas. Lift your voice. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice.
Hallelujah. You see, there are people fighting ailment, sicknesses. Let me just share. I, I don't like talking about some of these things. Eh? Personally, I am not really a fan of those things. But many years ago, I was driving and I saw somebody like a head porter selling stuff in traffic. Those of you who live in Europe and America, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you've lived in Africa, you see the people, the street hawk. The hawk on the street. Some of them will carry stuff. The person was selling water, sachet water. When I got there, the lights were red. On each water was a disease. I saw diabetes. I saw hepatitis. I saw, I saw all kinds of diseases being sold by the porter. People who have been around me for a long time will, will tell you that story. I got down from the car and I pushed the whole thing down. I pushed it down. And the people started rushing. I say, why have you done that? Somebody did it like that. So I, I looked at one of them like the ringleader. <laughs> the gang leader and I said ask that young lady what she is selling you know the young lady did not open her mouth she just picked her pan the thing she was using to sell and moved away quietly from the crowd in fact they even looked around and they couldn't find her I realized that there are some diseases that are bought on the road there are diseases so somebody will be from nowhere nobody genetically nobody around her or around him has that disease because it can be bought for somebody spiritual things you see the world it lies side by side there is a spiritual world and a realm you want to go to god listen there is somebody that is fighting a disease and it is not because genetically you you are weak for diseases to invade your body most of the time it is because somebody had made an they can even say with this position that this person has been given he's going to be sick for the rest of his life it's an invocation whoever sits on this chair now you are sucking me no problem if you are sucking me i'm going but whoever will come and take my place will die prematurely oh you are sucking me no problem i'm going but whoever oh ask the people who were building our our site there is a gentleman when you come here ask it's called a ja. a ja and darling will tell you that there were some contractors that were misbehaving and i said to those contractors they shouldn't come to our site anymore to work because you can't be paid and you will not deliver so i said a ja and his team should take over that job and get it done do you know what they went to tell them if they said they are going to open up the church in december we gave the date in december that the vice president and all of them came for the opening they said to them if you are going to open the church on that date and we you are you have they thought it was them who badmouthed them for them to be sacked and you have made us sad you would die before that day they told them they told they told the guys that we one of them said you know where we come from i'm going to my family shrine and altar and i'm going to make a petition i will make sure that you will die before the day of that dedication and he said it to them they came to me and they told me i said the only voice that can drown another voice is the amplifier of the voice the sound of the other voice if they are saying they are consulting an altar and that you will die before the day of the dedication let me also consult an altar let the altars of god swallow their altars yes. Listen, you can even be employed in a place the person somebody was fired before you came and the person is thinking if they fired me whoever comes there sicknesses will never leave the person it's an incantation 
Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, any incantation, any incantation, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, any divination, any divination, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, any statement, any statement made against my life, made against, made my, against my life, made against, made my, against, my, against my family, made against, my made family. against me, oh God, against me, oh as God. I lift up my voice, as, 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 as I begin to pray, let, let it catch fire, let that statement, let that, statement. Let that pattern, let that pattern. Let that Pattern. Let a pattern and let an altar, let an altar. fuel in the pattern, fuel in the pattern. Catch, fire. catch fire right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Lift your voice with me. Let your voice. We break the pattern. We destroy the altars that are fooling. The pattern. Lifted against your Jesus life lifted. from any satanic corpse, from any camp of the adversaries, any voice, Jesus. Any voice Jesus. that had been lifted yes, against your life, yes, whoever hey. made an incantation, Jesus. even on your blind side, Jesus. against the ministry hey. God has given to you, Jesus. whoever says he's a pastor, Jesus. but can curse another ministry that the ministry won't do well. I doubt Jesus. that person. Because the ministry is of Jesus Christ. Jesus will not destroy himself to build himself. So you will say a house divided against itself shall not stand. So if you hear a pastor cursing another pastor for that pastor to fail, the person has even violated scripture. And if you are a man of God and another man of God has laid such a statement over your life, any incantation, any incantation, Maybe you are doing business. Jesus. People that are within the same industry, they are saying things, they are destroying you, they are, they are making sure that your business will be run down. Mm. Any incantation, any, Jesus. incantation. Any, divination. any divination, any statement, any, statement. any pattern, any pattern. They, have established. they have established and any altar, By any altar. fooling that pattern Jesus. today in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. It May it catch fire. Yes. fire. May it catch fire. fire. May it catch fire. Yes. fire. May the power of the Holy Ghost yes. consume them. Yes. Amen. We destroy Jesus. Every statement. Jesus. We blot out Jesus. Every handwriting Jesus. of the enemy. Yes, Lord. Devil. Devil. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. Devil. The blood is against you. The blood is Devil. The blood is against you. The blood is against The mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. That ministry will do well. Yes. Jesus' name. That business will do well. Jesus' name. That family will do well. In Jesus' name. That health you are touching. Yes. Touch not the yes. Lord's anointed. Yes. yes. Touch them no more. Yes, yes, Lord. The mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's time for you to rise. Yes. Therefore, I prophesy over yes, your life. Jesus. Jesus. I am commanding your morning for you because Jesus. of how it went. I pray for you. Yes, Lord. That on this day, Jesus. May the Lord cause you to see his goodness. Amen. May you experience his might. Amen. May you experience his blessing. Amen. May the Lord lift you up. Amen. May the Lord honor his word Amen. over you. Whatever you are desiring or yearning for, may your expectations not be cut off. Amen. May this day be the beginning Amen. of good things. Amen. The beginning. Amen. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. A day you will never forget. The beginning Amen. of new things for your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. And we deem it done. Hallelujah. Yes. We are super excited. Tomorrow we are pleading the blood against any sacrifice on their altars. We are pleading.
the blood against any sacrifice on their altars sometimes the reason why that altar that 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 altar is is the voice of that altar is loud is because it's been fueled it has been given blood but there is the blood of the eternal Emmanuel. Yes. It still runs warm through Emmanuel's veins. And we want to use it to counter any statement they have made. All too soon our time is up. Tomorrow we are coming your way with another edition of Command Your Morning. Experience is coming on from the 11th to the 18th. This year's experience, we want you to share your experience with us. Tell us what you have experienced so far. And let God bless you. We love you for myself and my team. There is nothing you can do about it. Tomorrow we are coming your way again with another explosive edition. We are appealing to the blood. And we know God will do mighty things. I want you to thank God for answered prayer. Just thank God for what he is doing with your life. In the name of Jesus, just thank God. And let's worship him. Hallelujah. A divine turnaround. Christ came to tell somebody today, it is a day of your turnaround. God has fixed you and God is turning you around. Greater things are lying ahead of you. You will arise and you will go forward. The wheels of favor. 2016. I see a glory breaking out now. He will cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. Jesus the Christ. 2017. Should defy the ability of any human being to measure. I've come to make an announcement. Something good is about to come out of you. 2018, Jesus, the miracle. Worker. Sometimes you need to get dirty with the devil and tell him, I don't think so. You come against me, I split you. Yes, I will crack you right upside the head and I'll make you regret the day you ever put cancer on anybody in my family's body. I'll make you regret. In 2019, the same Jesus. Every shot. We are just telling our haters that there is nothing they can do about what God wants to do with us. Can you give God the loudest shout of prayer? We are his representatives on earth and he's our representatives in heaven. So we can never be defeated. You know why? You cannot be defeated when Jesus is your lawyer. In 2020, it's time to hashtag share your experience over the years with us as we celebrate experience from the 11th to 18th October this year. Share your experience by texting or making a video and sending to us via WhatsApp on 055-865-865. 
9269 480 of our social media handles. God bless you.